the battle of electronic versus mechanical group sets has got really interesting recently. We all know SRAM has abandoned mechanical group sets at the top end in favor of its wireless ETAP technology. And then last week, there's a news from Shimano with the launch of their new Durace DI2 group set that they are also abandoning mechanical group sets at the top end where their electronic DI2 group set rules are roost, especially in the Pro Peloton. So where does this leave you if you're not a fan of electronic group sets and you want a mechanical group set? Well, maybe there's a third way, the often forgotten Campagnolo. And I have here their third tier chorus group set with mechanical shifting, hydraulic disc brakes, and a 12 speaker set. So I've been riding this bike and this group set for the last few months. We're going to what it's like to ride. We'll talk about the pros and cons of mechanical versus electronic and whether there's any future for mechanical. So you're watching Just Ride Bikes. I'm David, let's dive in. So this is Campagnolo's Chorus group set. It's the Italian company's third tier group set, beneath super record and record right at the pointy end. This was launched in 2019. So yes, I know it took me a few years to get my hands on it, but that sort of reflects how a few bike brands do spec Campag group sets on their bike. Shimano is a big dominant player, followed closely by SRAM. And if you wanna know what super record EPS is like to use, then check out my review linked above. It is pretty awesome, but so it's a price tag. So when updated in 2019, Chorus got all the same 12 speed technology as Super Record and Record. But the key feature of this group set is it's only available as a mechanical group set. There are currently no EPS electronic version. So it's a 12 speed group set, mechanical shifting, lots and lots of carbon fiber, and here with hydraulic disc brakes, but there is, if you want them, a rim brake version, if you're not ready for a switch to disc brakes yet. So I've been riding a group set on this very lovely Basso for the last few months. You might see my review on this bike, link down below in case you missed it and you will know what it's like to ride. So I can really get under the skin of this group in terms of performance, functionality, ergonomics, and durability. But let's start with talking about the pros and cons of electronic versus mechanical, I think that's a really important debate to have right now as SRAM and Shimano at the top end at least are phasing out mechanical group sets completely. Now let's talk pros and cons of mechanical versus electronic and that's really the main kind of idea behind this video, the focus for this review. Not so much the chorus group set but whether electronics offer a tangible benefit over mechanical. And I think it's fair to say before we dive into pros and cons that a electronic group set won't make the bike better, won't make you a better rider. It's a very different experience. I think it's that experience that's the key thing to focus on. Mechanical group sets, as this one proves, still work extremely well. So pros of a mechanical group set, in this case, Chorus, is that there's fewer parts to go wrong, no batteries or motors to fail, no batteries to charge up on a regular basis. And that straight away is a big bonus for some people. And it means more to some people than other people. In this world of gadgets and smartphones, many of us are used to charging batteries, so it's no problem. But also many people don't want another thing to charge up. So that's a big factor straight away. You could argue there's less to go wrong with a mechanical group set, but you could also argue a gear cable is just as likely to snap or fail as a battery go wrong or a motor fail on you. So that's probably a moot point. And in my experience, electronic group sets are extremely reliable. But there are plenty of counter reports out there. Some other easier to quantify benefits of this chorus group set over its electronic rivals in SRAM Force ETAP Axis and the new Shimano Ultegra Di2 is that it's quite a bit cheaper and it's also quite a bit lighter as well. And it's still available with rim brakes if you want an even uh, bigger weight saving or you're just not ready for the transition to disc brakes yet. Now, the benefits of electronic group sets, in my opinion, based on the riding and testing I've done over the last few years, is that pressing a button is simply much easier and more reliable than pressing or moving a lever. And for riding fast and for racing, when your brain is fully engaged with just trying to put out the pain and focus on a rider in front and not letting that gap grow, pressing a button is much easier than moving a lever. 
I never have any missed gear changes with an electronic group set. And sometimes, even as good as this Corus is, built on 100 years plus of development and evolution, you can sometimes miss a gear change if you don't move the lever quite far enough. So electronic group sets just change gear under any load in any situation without fail in my experience. The other benefit of electronic group sets, especially in the case of SRAM, who have really embraced this feature of electronic group sets, is the customization available. With mechanical, you can't change how the gears change. They're decided for you by the manufacturer, but with electronic, you can via an app. You can switch the buttons around, decide what to do, how it shifts. That's all totally customizable for you. And with SRAM, you can see how many times you change gear during a ride, and that can allow you to customize the cassette and change the options you have on your bike to suit, tailor it to the riding you're doing. And then perhaps the biggest downside with Campag is the ergonomics, which is a Marmite thing. You either love it or you hate it, and I'm sure you let me know down below. They have a very distinctive twin lever setup, two levers behind the brake levers and thumb shifters inside the hoods, which does work well, but in my opinion, it's not as intuitive as electronic group sets, especially in the case of SRAM ETAP axis, which in my opinion is the easiest and most intuitive to use. Two buttons, up, down, both together front mech, it's so easy. Below that, Shimano DI2, and then below that, uh, Campag as well. But you may differ in your opinion of mechanical versus electronic, so let me know down below which you prefer and which you think is the best. Living with a group set as I have for the last few months has been an utter dream and a great reminder of why Campagne Yellow shouldn't be ignored if you're in the market for a group set. They know what they're doing, they have so much experience and expertise and it really shows in a group set. And it is absolutely stunning to look at. I love the amount of carbon fibre and the shape of the rear derailleur. Really good looking group set. And the performance is flawless as well. The shifting is light, it's fast, it's precise. The ergonomics are good once you get used to it. It does take some adjustment if you're coming from Shimano or SRAM. I just wish a thumb shifter was shaped in a way that Eckhart is with a C-shaped, so it's easier to operate from the drops. That's probably the only niggle with that. And it's not quite as easy to use as the Super Record EPS with a downturn shifter paddle on the inside of the hood. The group set comes with disc brakes or rim brakes. And as you know, I'm a fan of disc brakes and these are wonderful to use. They have a really nice soft, almost rim brake like feel when you first pull the lever, very different to Shimano and SRAM. And when you get to the bite point, they have a good amount of power, probably not quite as powerful as Shimano and SRAM, but I'm really splitting hairs here. You can still stop really, really quickly. So good stopping ability with these brakes. They're quiet as well, not having any squealing or rubbing when I'm out of the saddle or in the rain. So very quiet, fuss free as you want. And the gearing on this bike, as I mentioned, plenty of options. This one really strikes a balance between that sort of race high end speed and also climbing ability if you're just kind of taking it easy. I do quite a few local chain gangs here and having that smooth progression at a sweet spot of a cassette really helps you find the right gear when you're really on a ragged edge, you're having a pace pushed by somebody in front of you and you find that right gear more of the time. It's not as radical a group set as SRAM has shown. So it's not quite as good on the hills, like really steep hills compared to SRAM, but for the most part it's good and you can easily go to 11.34 or a 50.34 at the front. The reliability of the group set has been flawless, really. I've not had any issues at all. Not had to adjust the cable tension from the barrel adjuster on the rear mech. Just stayed in trim, no issues from the front mech, just being a dream to live with, like I said earlier. It's just not giving me any problems. I've not had to charge a battery, not had to update the firmware, not had to do anything to it. Just take it out of the garage, go for a ride, it's ready to go. And I do like that aspect of mechanical group sets. And I do love the shape of the hoods. I think the ergonomics of the hoods from the shape, the size, and the material used on the rubber is fantastic. And probably my favorite of the three big group set manufacturers. So with all that said, is there any future for mechanical group sets or is it an electronic future? Well, I can't answer that. I don't have a crystal ball, but the way that Shimano and SRAM going, it's been driven by sales. If you guys didn't buy electronic group sets in the numbers you are, they still be making mechanical group sets. Luckily, Campag hasn't ditched mechanical group sets just yet, which leaves us one of the few options available in the marketplace if you want a reasonably high end, high performance group set with mechanical gear changes. So if you're put off by Shimano direction and SRAM direction, could Campag Chorus be a group set for you? 
in many ways, yes. The price is good, the weight is good, and the performance is good. The not so good is the ergonomics isn't suitable for everybody. It's not as easy to use, not as intuitive to use, but once you get your head around it, it's not so bad. And that is about the only downside, really. And while this group set is lovely to use, I do love a mechanical group set. As I said before, if you see my video on Ultegra from about two years ago, I can't help but say that I really like the way electronic group sets work. So easy to use, press a button, wham, off you go. You can customize them as well. I don't mind the battery charging up issue. And in my experience, I've not had any failures with SRAM or Shimano. And I really like the way EPS works if you saw my review of Super Record EPS. But sometimes it's nice to take your bike out of the garage, not to worry about the battery state, get on and ride and know that the gears will change because you don't have a flat battery. So there's a lot to like. Now, personally, I hope mechanical groups that don't go the way of many other technologies, rim brakes perhaps, but it's hard to deny the future of electronic group sets does look bright, especially at a top end, but hopefully we still have plenty of options like this one shows. There's still a lot to like, and I know lots of you don't like the idea of electronic group sets. So if you still want a mechanical group set on your high-end road race bike, and you don't like the news from Shimano and SRAM, your options are pretty limited, it has to be said. You can either buy up old stock, if you can, of Shimano, Dual Race, and Ultegra. The last version is really good. Probably the pinnacle of Shimano's mechanical group set or try and get your hands on some old SRAM Red, which is also really good and one of the lightest group sets ever made, or make the switch to Campag. And if you do make the switch to Campag, I don't think you'd be disappointed. It might take you some time to get used to the ergonomics, the way it works compared to Shimano and SRAM, but there's a lot to like here. And it looks blooming marvelous with all that shiny carbon fiber, which really uh, pops on a sunny day like today. Anyway, that's my review of the Chorus group set and a little debate around mechanical versus electronic I'm sure it'll be an interesting topic over the next few years for sure. And don't forget to let me know which uh, side of the fence you're sitting on. Love to hear from you as always. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again very soon.